Hey, what's up, everybody? Steve here. Today is April 12th, 2020, and even better, it's National Grilled Cheese Sandwich Day. It's also Easter, so before I get started, I'd like to wish everyone out there a very happy Easter. Now, I know it's not exactly the best time to celebrate anything with what's going on in the world today, but since you gotta be stuck at home, why not make the best of it? Enjoy your time with the family today and stay safe and healthy. Then we can celebrate once again after this crisis is all over with. By the way, I did have another video that I was gonna post today, but it's about my supply hunting on Friday and the people out there, etc. But it's a bit negative and I might have slipped the F-bomb or two in there, so anyways, here we go. Now, nobody knows exactly when the grilled cheese sandwich was invented, but they do know that it was in 1920 somewhere and it was an easily prepared meal, being that all it took was a slice of bread and some cheese. Yes, the original grilled cheese sandwich was open-faced and topped with shredded cheese. Variations included sauteed vegetables, meats such as ham or bacon, and even eggs. In 1949, Kraft Foods introduced the individually wrapped single slices of cheese, and in the mid-60s, someone decided to add another piece of bread on top, thus creating the modern grilled cheese sandwich. The idea was brought about to make the sandwich more filling. Prior to all of this, they were called toasted cheese or melted cheese sandwiches. Kids and adults all over the world enjoy grilled cheese sandwiches every day in many variations. So whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, or a little something in between, make yourself a grilled cheese sandwich today. So that's my video for today. We'll see you all tomorrow with some COVID-19 supply hunting. Take care and aloha. Thank you.